Hey yo, Guido, coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Thanks for tuning in on this episode. I am in my Black Dog M4190 GF Tier 8 German light tank. It's a premium tank. I'm on the bottom tier in a 357 on Malinovka. You can see I've spawned into the southern spawn. This is an interesting game. This ends up having two tanks, two tanks on my team with a patrol duty. That'd be me and that 1390 over there. When I first spawned in, that's the bush I wanted to go to. And the reason I wanted to talk about or illustrate this game is even if another scout goes to what is arguably the best spot, as long as you execute well with your scout, you can still have a pretty good game. So I saw him head to that bush. There's no reason for us to both to jam in there. And I've seen that before. People get salty, come in and push the other scout out or sit right next to the other scout. And I say, well, I know enough about this map. I think there's other good scouting spots I can go to. So I'll just abort going for that bush. I'm going to head over for this other one. And I think you know where I'm going, up to this little sniper spot. Looks like the Lorraine wants to go there as well. And that's fine. I've got better spotting range, so I'll go ahead and get up in here. 1390 is calling for fire. He's getting lots of good lights. And I'm just going to come on up here and see what I can see. I'm going to watch him for a minute. Looking for a free shot. Holy cow, Lorraine. Don't do that. And now he's got his front armor toward me. Not a lot I can do about him. WZ. Oh, look at this. We got more customers. There's a customer. Oh, I missed. Are you kidding me? So 1390 is doing pretty good. He's he's gathering up some spotting damage right now. And I am trying to look for this kind of thing. I'm looking for the other guys that spot up over here. Looks like the 1390 is actually spotting that guy. So we'll sit here for a bit. Got a couple tanks headed up to the top. I would like to have seen more. We've got a lot of guys camping back. The T-57 actually went down to the southwest corner. And to be quite honest, deployment-wise, this does not look very good. Question, of course, on a bad deployment is, how bad was the enemy's deployment? Well, we're about to find out. Just looking around. The ELC is way over there. Thinking about maybe trying to put a shot on him if I can, but he backs down again. There's the leopard. As soon as I see him lit, I swing back over. And we'll take a shot on him. I'm going to courtesy reverse. Yep. Don't wait for that light to go off in that kind of situation. If you have an inkling you're about to get spotted, make sure you back out immediately. Now they know I'm there, though. Now they know I'm there. So I don't have any spotting yet. I'm at 219. The 1390 is just collecting it up there. Love and life. That's a great bush where he is, by the way. There is a corresponding bush on the other side, so there could be a scout right in front of him. Our other scout, you can see our bulldog attempted to go up that ramp. He just did that a little early. I don't think that's a great move early on. There's just too many guns in the game. You see he died down below there. But that is a place that I will look to work to later in the game. Shift a little bit. Oh, look at that. There's LTB. So I'm looking to move up into this area up above here. And there's some pretty good bushes right here. So let's see if we can't catch some of these guys moving around. Nothing seen, so let's move up. And I'm going to take the alternate route to get down onto this ramp. So one way is to go the way the bulldog went. The other one is to do that. And I don't recommend that early game either, but at that point of the game, as things started to develop and people got to their spots, it's a much safer approach. What I'm trying to do here is see if I get lit. If I pull out here and get lit, and I probably went a little too far, got a little greedy, and I'm sliding all around, and I'm lucky nobody spotted me there, otherwise I'd die pretty horribly. What I was trying to do right there was back to where that 
bush right there was visible and see if I got lit. And so I read, what I really need to do is just back just enough that I barely see that bush. And, and if you're smart, you start with that portion of it. And you do it a couple more times. You make sure there's not a scout in right there. I did it the caveman way. I just went out in the open <laughs> and was lucky nobody was there. So now I'm up forward. 1390's got the, the bottom sorted out. Actually bounce off that guy. Unbelievable. 1390's sitting there keeping them honest. All the guys are sitting down at their cap. And now I am getting spotting damage by finding the guys who are sitting up in these bushes up here. So that collected 1500s. They absolutely decimated the T28. ISM keeps seeing me. I'd love to get up in that bush without being seen. Unfortunately, I can't quite get behind the bush before the top of the ISM's spotting point sees me. Vision point. Now, now I see him move back behind the church. So I'm going to go ahead and get up in there. And unfortunately, bad gunnery, but he didn't see me. Scorpion GS, pretty bad view range. Now I can get up in here. Gone to the heat, but that's still going to be problematic for that thick of armor. He is giving me some flat plate, but not quite enough. There we go. Get through his turret. Kind of checking for other things. He's looking at where the shot's coming from. I was afraid he might try a uh, unspotted shot. Tried to go to the side of the T-30, and I figured I'd get spotted on that one. He was close enough. Up to 2100 spotting. 1390's moved forward a little bit. You can see that he's able to E&E &E his way to that next bush, which is usually the red team's bush, so he's nice and close. I keep getting spotted in here. Just, just enough, I think, from the T-30 and the ISM. Keep trying to work up here. Now I see him back up behind the church, so I know I can't get there. I'm just watching for him. There we go. He gets he gets the church between he and I, and I'm able to sneak in again. I'd love to find that LTTB, so he's probably one of the problems I've got as far as being spotted goes, and there's a WZ in here as well. Thirteen ninety is still sitting there collecting damage. Now this is a, a time in the game where you will often get players start complaining about the scouts not not scouting. Scouts need to scout, get us lights, that kind of thing. What the scouts are doing is they're being very careful. They have vision control, which means the enemy can't do a lot of moving around. There's at least one guy lit, the Type 5. Let's just get rid of him. All right? There's no, no rush. We've got seven minutes. He's getting hammered. We're about to take out the Type 5, and that's just one less guy we got to worry about. Another bounce, unfortunately. I do the courtesy reverse right there. Now he's just barely moved out, and down he goes. Unfortunately, I didn't get the spotting on that. So I'm up to 3,200. Now we've got a T-69 who's decided to try to break this thing open. So... We watch him move in. I'm just waiting to see what he may light up. I know that ISM's up there. There's a Scorpion G, a WZ, a JPZ right down here. This is a bad angle here. I'm going to try to put one in his lower plate, but I don't manage to get it. I'm just kind of looking down. goes off his armor. I take a chance that I'm not going to get spotted right there. So he's still sitting there. T69's dead, but he did get the JPZ scene. Bounce off of him. 1390's moving in for the kill. So now 1390 has swung to an offensive roll. There he goes. He's got that clip. I see that he has lit up what's down on the left side, so I feel like I'm free to move up over here. I know that ISM's around. There he is. And I take two hard hits. So there's the ISU sitting back there. The WZ got me. He's down in the bushes. Unfortunately, the ISM is up above there as well, so I feel like I need to retreat a little bit here. That was a good kill on the bat chat. I'm up to 3,400 spotting damage. And the 1390 has got out of there. All right, so probably not the time to go raging in. They still have too many guns stacked up, and we need to look for mistakes like this. This guy comes out, breaks cover. He's coming at him. 
I'm worried about is he's going to try to get right up to me and I'm hoping somebody can kill him as he comes. No, nope, he switches. He's down on the bottom there. So again, I'll move up looking to avoid getting spotted by the ISM. So I've got to be careful getting up in there. I'm not really sure where he's gone. There's the LTTB. Take a chance, get over and kill him and dive right back down. And I can see that the Conqueror and the T-5041 and their buddy up there are starting to move down. So I, I backed up more than I wanted to. What I was concerned about was artillery. More than likely, the artillery is paying attention to the Conqueror and the T-5041 pushing in on them. And I really would love to get rid of this guy. This guy is a thorn in my side. He's, he's really limiting my ability to move around over here. There we go. Thirteen nineties getting in there. There's the WZ. Bad gunnery right behind him. That was terrible. Ah, that didn't help. I know that ISU is there. What I want to avoid is getting spotted and topping over this hill right here. There we go. There's somebody. I owe that guy a shot. Down he goes. That gets me up to four thousand four hundred. Once he broke his camo by turning, and I ended up seeing him right there. And now everyone's pushing in, so a little bit cowardly end game on my part. Probably could have already been moving in here to get some more damage or spotting. I believe I actually ended up spotting the artillery. Pretty sure he's over on the right. No, I did not spot the artillery. But I do get a shot that bounces. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A shot that bounces. Down he goes. All right, so 1,000 damage, 4,400. Ends up being a patrol duty. And in fact, I, the, I'll the i show you the stats. The 1390 gets, I think, over 5,000 spotting on that. So really, just two scouts getting to the right spots and doing what scouts need to do. For those of you who hate it when scouts sit around, just understand that a lot of times they're looking at all of that that's going on and they're attempting to be careful. You notice that once I got too aggressive, I just got ha absolutely hammered by the ISU and the and the WZ and nearly taken out of the game, left with 93 hit points. So you do have to be careful, especially with hidden TDs back there, and just slowly and methodically kind of picked this team apart, apart picked this team apart with some pretty decent scout play. All right, hope you all learned something along the way. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. As always, I do appreciate your support, and we will see you on the next episode.